Hey guys, it's Ivana and welcome to Intellecta. In today's video, we are going to be sewing one example with two different methods. The first one will be using the Lambert W function and the second one will be using the glog function. The goal of today's video is to compare these two functions and to see whether is one more practical for solving exponential linear equations than the other. In one of my previous video, I explained that these two functions are cousin functions, meaning they have similar properties and common applications. So let's check it out and let's get started. So the first method we are going to be using is the Lambert W function. If we want to apply the Lambert W function, we must have this form x e to the x is equal to some constant. It doesn't have to be just the variable x. Here you can have, let's say, 1 over x, ln x, x squared, x cubed. It doesn't matter. It's just important to have the same expression here in front and in the exponent. And then we are able to apply the w, the Lambert w function. w of x e to the x is just this variable here. In this case, it's just x. So let's start with our example. We have 2 to the x is equal to 10x. We want to have this form here. That's why we are going to divide this equation here by 2 to the x. You may also divide by 10x, but I think it's just simpler if we divide by 2 to the x. So let's start. 1 is equal to 10x over 2x, 2 to the x. Let's move this 2 to the x to the numerator and then we will have 10x times 2 to the negative x is equal to 1. So remember we want to have this form here x e to the x and at this point we have 10x times 2 to the minus x. Instead of this 2 we want to have the base e and that's why we are going to rewrite 2 to the minus x as e to the ln of 2 to the minus x. And you know this minus x goes here to the front and then we have e to the minus x ln 2. And now let's put this here. We have 10x times e to the minus x ln 2 is equal to 1. But we want to have the same variable, the same expression here as well. We have just x and we need mm, minus ln2. That's why we are going to divide, we are going to multiply by ln2 minus ln2 and then we are going to divide by ln2 as well. Why? Because we don't want to change the overall value. We want to have the, uh, yeah, we want to have the same expression just written a, a little bit differently. Okay, we have 10 now over ln2 times minus x ln2 times e to the minus x ln2 is equal to just one, uh, minus one. Okay. Now we are going to divide by 10 over ln2 and we have minus x ln2 times e to the minus x ln2 is equal to minus 1 over 10 over ln2 is just minus ln2 over 10. At this point you may see that we have minus x ln2 here in front and minus x ln2 in the exponent and that's why we are able to apply the Lambert W function. So let's apply W and we have W of minus x ln2 e to the minus x ln2 is equal to w of minus ln2 over 10. And remember we said if we have w of x e to the x it's equal just to variable x. It's, and now we have that our variable is minus x ln2, our expression is minus x ln2 is equal to w of minus ln2 over 10. We want to solve this for x and then we get that our x is equal to 
minus 1 over ln2 times w of minus ln2 over 10. And we got that our x is this expression here. Remember, uh, in my video about the Lambert W function, I explained if you want to find the, if you want to compute this here, you can use the Wolfram alpha. And if you use the Wolfram alpha, you will get that, wait a second. So you will get that the W of minus, W of minus ln2 over 10 is minus 0.074. So this here is minus 0 0.074 and this all together times minus 1 over ln2 you will get that our x is 0 0.107. Okay, and this is our x. So now I, I explained how to find the x if you have exponential linear equation using the lambda w function. Now we want to solve the same expression, the same, uh, the same example using the g log function, and then we want to compare these two functions. Okay, so the second method we are going to be using is the g log function. The definition for the g log function says that y is equal to g log of z if and only if e to the y is equal to z times y. That means we want to have the same expression here in the exponent and on the right-hand side. So that's why we are going to start with our example rewriting 2 to the x in order to have e to the some expression. 2 to the x is equal to e raised to the log of 2 to the x. And this x goes to the front and then we have e to the x log of 2. So 2 to the x is the same as e to the x log of 2. So let's write it down. We have e to the x log of 2 is equal to 10x. According to our definition, we want to have the same expression on the right-hand side. That means we want to have x log 2 also on the right-hand side. We have already x. We need just log of 2. And that's why we want to multiply the, the whole expression by log of 2 and then we are going to divide by log of 2. Once again, we don't want to change the overall value. This together gives us 1. And then we have e to the x log of 2 is equal to 10 over log of 2 times, so 10 over log of 2 times x times log of 2. And now e to the y is equal to z times y. So our definition is satisfied. That's why we can apply this here. Now we have that y is equal to g log of z. We have that x, our y in this case is x log 2, x log of 2 is equal to g log of z, g log of 10 over log of 2. And solving this for x, we will get that x is equal to 1 over log of 2 times g log of 10 over log of 2. And that is our x. So as you can notice, it took, it took us just four steps to solve using uh, the g log function. And for the Lambert W function, took, it took us eight steps. That's why I think the g log function is more practical. But there is one problem. The problem with the g log function is unlike uh, the Lambert W function, you can find the you can find the exact value you can compute using the Wolfram alpha, but there is no calculator to, uh, to find the exact value for the g log. So this is the brand new function and this is the, and that's why it's, uh, it's disadvantage for the g log function. You will have to do this manually 
and I think it's not practical. So for this exact exact example, 2 to the x is equal to 10x, g log function was more practical, but if you want to find the exact value, the lambda w function is better. Okay, so I hope you like this video. If it's so, please leave a like. Which function do you like most? Please write in the comment section down below. Till the next video, please watch my video about the lambda w function, about the g log function, and till the next time, stay healthy, stay positive, and do some math.